Hey guys, Flight School Dropout here, and today I'm going to go over some controls and uh, hotkeys that I think uh, are useful. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single hotkey, uh, just the ones that I find that I use. Um, I kind of, before recording this, I kind of went through all the controls uh, in the settings and noticed I don't use a lot of things, but I mean, maybe I will in the future. Maybe at the end of the video, you guys can comment and let me know what. Uh, what you guys use, what you guys find uh, useful that uh, maybe I don't use. So, anyways, we're gonna start off. Oh, also, we're gonna start off with the basics because uh, some people are new, just learning controls. You know, maybe setting up their controls, and uh, so this way I get everything covered. Uh, oh, and also some things I'm, men I'm mentioning are like my hotkeys. They're uh, vanilla, like they're they're stock that came with the game, just because you know I either find them uh, good where they're at. Or I just, you know, don't mind using them. I mean, you can't have everything close to WSAD. Which brings me to the first one. Would be uh, strafing. So, WSAD. That's your thrusters on the outside of your ship going up, down, left, right. That helps for last minute calculations when docking and stuff like that. Roll. That would be spinning your ship. They're left or right. That's Q and E. If I was using a joystick, I would probably just twist it, but uh, this is a mouse and keyboard video, so. Next one is match speed. And for me, that's shift R. I believe that's st uh, stock controls. That guy is pretty far away, but I'll match his speed. You can see the speed there, and I'll hit shift R. And it'll match the exact speed. It's pretty good when you're uh, trailing a target and trying to shoot someone down. Kill engine, or come to a complete stop. It's helpful for various reasons, especially for not slamming into a station. For example, I'll get up to maximum speed here. And I like to kill my engines last second, so I don't have to waste too much time traveling around. Right around like 10, 9, 8, 7, whatever. And then left shift. Or left alt, sorry. So I got into travel mode, which I'll explain what key bind that is later. Hit that key bind again, the same one. Then press left alt to kill engines. Uh, you have an afterburner. Which I found the most useful, really. I felt like that was really missing from X3, but anyways. You don't have to get to maximum speed, but you can. And it will use your shield. Whoops, almost hit the station. It'll use your shield energy. As you can see, my shield bar goes down. But so does my speed. Very, very, very cool and helpful for combat. I think that's going to make combat really interesting. It's also good for when you are killing your inertia, which I'll go over after. You can use your booster to get around. I really... Crystal mining, uh... This is pretty fun. Shout out, uh... Check out my crystal mining video, brat. Okay. Mouse lock, which is spacebar. Just basically... Stops control of your vehicle via your mouse. Uh, flight assist was when I killed my uh, 
directional thrusters. While I was boosting, you hit G on my keyboard. And if you notice, I'm just kind of moving away from the station. But I'm facing it. And to kick it back into drive, or to continue in this direction, I'll hit G again, turn it back on. And away I go. Once you uh, kind of master this maneuver, and I think I've said it in like a bunch of videos already. Uh... Oh! Shh. It's close. You'll uh, start doing some more advanced uh, maneuvers. Especially high speed. Like, check this out. So let's turn on cruise engines here, or travel mode, as uh, called in the game. So right around the thousand MS, you'll start to notice it gets really sluggish on your mouse, right? So let's say instead of turning off cruise engines, turning to my left, turning the back on like a rocket. Okay, I just hit G, turn off inertia, hit G again. G to turn off, G to turn off. Look which direction I'm going, look how much... Oh shit! I almost hit that. And look how fast I'm going. That's oh, so going 6000 MS, G. Station, G. G, G. Kill engine. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm rambling on, but uh, yeah, my bad if I'm rambling on. Primary fire. Uh, for me, it's it's personal preference, but for me, it's right click. Although I do notice that it's opening up the action menu by default. This would be a good example. So I just hit, hit right click, but I let go, and it opened up the action menu. But if you hold right click, it doesn't come out. So, but it's pretty annoying. Uh, in combat, so I might actually rebind that to something else. If you guys have any suggestions, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, secondary, fi uh, secondary fire, which is my missile. That is, oh, I should have done it on that criminal. Um, because I have a missile on my secondary weapon port, I shoot that. Um, Completely separately if I want. And that's been on the spot. What else we got here? Okay, enter it open menu. I think that's stock, but I mean that's pretty straightforward stuff. Property owned is shift F. Just because I find myself going to this menu quite often. It also opens up the map. You could use caps lock though. It's actually a better button. A better button. For map, I mean. Uh, player inventory, shift I. That stock, I mean, it's not convenient, but I mean, I don't need it while I'm flying, so. Uh, action menu is F, so that's uh, when you click on anything and press F, and that's your action menu. Lots of stuff to pick, you know? You know what I mean? Third person, F2. Uh, gets you the cam behind, and F2 again gets you into uh, kind of like a, a cool little, little view here, huh? Press spacebar and lock it in, use the num numpad key. There's your sup uh, super sweet flight school dropout logo on the way, you know what I mean? F1 to go back to your HUD. Uh, comms is shift C. I also think that's stock. Comms channel open. Goodbye. Goodbye, Obama. Uh, target enemy. So I have um, mouse buttons, and I'm using one of them actually to talk. And I think that's my my am ammunition switch. So I'll have to change that to something else. But mouse button one is target enemy, the closest enemy. So I don't have any enemies near me to. Uh, to demonstrate with, but uh, if you do combat a lot like I do, you'll want it as close to you as possible. And I'm using the uh, the Razor Death Adder 2, I think. There's a, I don't know why I have 2 in my brain, but um, it only has 2 mouse buttons on the side, so by my thumb. 
left side. Docking, also stock, shift D. That's what I use in X3, actually, so. If you don't know how to dock, you approach, approach a station. Make sure you're under, I think it's under 10 kilometers, then shift D. Follow the lights and uh, go watch my docking video and I'll teach you how to dock. Docking aborted. Shift D to uh, abort your dock. Get out of my chair, that's tilde or the the weird squiggly line beside number one. And keyboard. Greetings. Accepted. If you have any floatable loot laying around, or you um, break up some aura crystals and you want to... Anything, really. That's consumable or aware in the game to pick it up. If it's in space, to pick it up, you hold uh, O, which is also stock keybind on the keyboard. You can tell you're doing it right by this loud noise. Toggle HUD. I use it for, I think you saw in the beginning of the video of me on the highway, it kind of just takes away all the uh, icons and cursors except for the uh, my pointer, which if I wanted to turn off I could, I just never really looked into it to be honest. Shift H to go back. Countermeasure is Shift W. There they go. Also known as Chaff. I meant to do that in third person, and you only get to carry one, so... <laughs> out of ammo, yeah. Whoops, I meant to do that in third person. Okay, well, you heard the noise, it comes out. Uh, chaff or um, countermeasures is to throw off uh, missiles. So it's like a bright piece of metal flare or something that explodes, and it's supposed to detract heat-seeking missiles. For the different ship mounts, um, I like the stock options, shift 1, 2, 3, and 4. Shift 1 being your travel speed, they call it the travel mode they call it in the game, but it's basically activating your cruise engines, which lets your ship go to its maximum um, acceleration. Shift 2 being scan mode, which you use to scan anomalies. You can never say that word properly. Anon anomalies? Anomalies? Little um, points of interest, like little spark explosion signal thingies in the game. I just described it visually, but you scan it in this mode. I go over it in one of my videos. Check out my videos. Shift 3 is long range scanner. You hold L on your keyboard, which is the, the stock bind. But I use it because it's so odd, and I never do it while I'm flying. And shift 4 is SATA, which I don't have installed yet, but uh, if it's the same as an X3, then it makes, it like fast forwards um, the actual time in game. So it's like controlling the time and space. I don't know, I have to, I have to watch a Joe Rogan podcast to figure that out, so I don't know. You know what I mean. The only other options to really go over um, are the EVA controls, which are really straightforward. I was going to make an EVA video, but I guess for the point of this video, I'll just show it quick. Hello. Leave your seat, click on the transporter, use spacesuit, hit enter. You're using your strafe buttons, W, S, A, D, on the keyboard to really direct yourself. You can also, however, use. Uh, your boosters, tab, to boost forward. Two ways of flying it, you know, full strafe, or holding tab, and using your mouse to kinda move by RAM. Pretty sure that's all the controls in the suit other than holding right click. And pressing your weapon switch button, which is by default N on your keyboard. No, I didn't say M, I said N. And you can switch to a repair laser, which repairs your ship. A hand laser, which does the smallest amount of damage ever. Or a bomb launcher, which I haven't used yet. But that sounds pretty cool. Also, the binds like kill engines, 
which mine is left alt, works on the suit. It's really handy to get around. Let's you down pretty quickly. To redock in your ship out of EVA, you press your docking bind, which is Shift D. By default, go back in your ship, click on your seat. If you have a, a co pilot, you know, he'll move out of the way for you. If not, well, then it's just an empty chair. And that's it. One thing left actually to test is, uh, or to show you, and it's more of a test for me, is the controls on a station. So, spacebar and left control, which is duck and uh, jump. Spacebar being jump, left control being duck. But I read on Reddit that I could crouch jump like in Half Life Source, if anyone's played that, or Half Life 1. So, you would crouch jump. Sorry, jump crouch, and you would get onto higher things. Like on top of boxes and stuff. Successfully docked. Welcome. Hello. For anyone that's wondering, this is a, a Perseus. A Pegasus Perseus, which is a... A Thanks for your help. Uh, you're welcome. A Paranid M3. I like it very much. In case you're wondering. Can I see my logo in there? Oh, awesome. I'm glad, really glad that turned out. Anyways, so, crouch. Oh, why isn't my crouch working? Ooh, wow. Okay, so you have to rebind it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Okay, so that works. So you can get into places that you didn't think you could get before. That's awesome. I'm going to take a picture of that. Screenshot, I mean. Anyways, that's it guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, whatever you want, you know, but, uh, yeah, make sure to save your game, I'll see you next time. Anomalies, anomalies.